I went thrifting. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have been doing some spring fabric thrifting and I'm so excited to show you what I got. I'm sure a lot of you know if you're here from TikTok, I really love posting like sewing inspo videos. So I think that's kind of what this is gonna be. I'm gonna show you some of the fabrics that I got and then kind of show you like what I plan to do with them. So I have my huge Value Village bag here. I didn't buy all of this at once because it's kind of hard to find good fabric sometimes at Value Village, so you really have to keep going back over and over again. I have a definite palette going on right now of only pinks, greens, and oranges for some reason. Okay, starting off with this piece, I am obsessed with this color. I don't really think I have anything like this. I think I said this a while ago on my TikTok. I really want to start working with more chiffons this year. So I have stocked up on a few of those and this is just so cute. This was three dollars, probably about two and a half yards of this. So honestly a good amount, especially for three dollars because I find the fabric is really getting up there in price. So if you can find something for $2.99 there, just snatch it up right away because they're very few and far between. Aside from the wrinkles that are showing here, there's like a little bit of a vertical pattern going through there, which I think is really pretty. I would love to do something similar to this dress. I think that this is so pretty. I love the idea of having multiple layers of chiffon as the skirt, just the silhouette in general. I think it's really like beachy and just breezy summer vibe. I think that the color is just so different from anything else that I own. So I definitely don't want to go for just like a basic silhouette. I think whatever I do with this, I want it to just have like a little bit of a twist. Next is another green fabric. This is so, so, so dreamy. This was $3.99 and I have, oh my God, like probably like five or six meters. So that much fabric for $4. For Value Village pricing, that's amazing. For this dress, I want something that just like makes me feel like a fairy. I'm obsessed with that whole just like poofy, extremely girly fairy princess vibe. So I think something along the lines of these sort of dresses would be so, so, so pretty with this. Next is this. This is so fun. Oh my God, this is a bed sheet. It's really, really hard to find vintage fabric, but vintage bed sheets, they're everywhere. So this was $3.99. This is a twin, so a decent amount of fabric. I mostly only buy cotton bed sheets just because once they have been like washed so many times, the cotton just gets so soft and beautiful. And that's how this feels. I wish you could feel this. Like it just feels so worn in already, but in a good way. It has this lace trim at the top. I think that's so cute. I think that a matching set out of this would be so, so, so cute. Oh my gosh. Like really high-waisted flare trousers and then a matching halter top. I think that would be so cute. By the way, if you want to learn how to make a halter top, I posted a tutorial about that. I think just generally any very 60s sort of vibe, like 60s beach vibe, like 60s Palm Beach, you know? Next is another fabric that I kind of have already, but I also don't, and I have a very specific idea in mind for this. This is a duvet cover that I got. Oh, it's a handmade duvet cover, that's cute. It has these buttons that are so cute. And so I think incorporating those into this would be really, really fun. Or honestly, this is a lot of fabric. I could probably make two projects with this. This was $5 for a twin. I thought it was a sheet. But when I got it home, I realized it's a duvet cover, which is just the most perfect thing. That's another really good tip for thrifting textiles. If you're looking in the bedding section, pay attention to the duvet covers because if it's a really beautiful fabric, you get twice as much fabric as you would with a sheet. And usually they're not priced too much higher than the sheets are. Like this one was five bucks. I specifically like this one because it's kind of hard to find sheer-ish or like thin, bedding. I don't know if you can tell here. Yeah, so you can kind of see it's not like a really, really thick sheeting cotton, which is why I think it would be so pretty to make this 
sort of tiered dress with the stitching of the gathering of the tiers here i think that would weigh it down nicely so it would just be like so pretty and summery and breezy or honestly it would also make a really really cute like set of pajamas like shorts and a long sleeve like button up and then you could use the buttons that are on here that would be so cute next is this Georgette, I think is what it's called. I think that's what my mom said. Um, I love this. It's kind of like a crepe. I don't know if Georgette and crepe are like the same thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a crepe feel, but again, this is slightly see-through. So really nice and lightweight for spring and summer. I mean, as if the weather is suitable for this yet. It's literally snowing outside. I think this is going to hang really, really beautifully on the bias. So I think I'm going to make something sort of similar to these dresses. Something simple, cut on the bias. I actually have a pattern in mind that I think I'm going to use because I got some comments on my TikTok asking me to do videos reviewing like indie pattern companies. So I think I have one of those coming and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this fabric for it so stay tuned for that because i think that's going to be really really pretty there's quite a lot of this i think there's probably about like two or three meters and this was eight dollars that's a little bit more than i would usually spend on fabric from value village but i just i couldn't resist the color this i think is maybe my favorite fabric i thrifted i don't know what's with me and all these like chiffons i think it's because chiffon is like everyone is like oh my god like if you buy chiffon at the fabric store i always laugh and like wait for the person cutting the fabric to say this but nine times out of ten they almost always go wow you're gonna have fun sewing this because it's like so slippery and annoying and chiffon just has like the worst reputation for sewing i think that's just a great challenge i think we need to stop being so scared of chiffon this was 2.99 there's honestly not a lot of this there's maybe like a meter that's not a ton to work with but i think i'm just gonna go for like a really simple dress kind of like this like sort of like a slip dress but maybe just add like a little ruffle on the bottom something just to add a little bit of interest i have one clothing item to show you oh this has shoulder pads oh my god i didn't oh my god <laughs> Okay, this is the kind of sewing detail that just makes me really happy because this has shoulder pads and then when you open it up they even covered the shoulder pads in the fabric that's very cute this chiffon again the reason i got this is because i love these like tulipy sleeves i think that's really cute this was 4.99 and i really want to do some sort of a thrift flip with this i'm not sure exactly what yet but i think i just want it to be like very breezy and like kind of stringy if that makes sense so i think i want to take all of the buttons off and maybe even take the collar off. Like I don't want it to have this sort of like button down vibe. I want it to be a lot more like beachy and like skimpy. Does that sound bad? I think what I'm gonna do is kind of like take the collar and the buttons off and then sort of replace the closure with like a couple string closures. I don't know, I might film a video about this. If not a full tutorial, I'll film it on TikTok. The next thing I got is two patterns. I can't keep track of the patterns that I have. They are spilling out of the basket I keep them in. So I try to keep it to like only buying patterns that are A, like very essential staple pattern that I'll, I know I'll use a million times. Or if it's like a vintage pattern, then I usually have to buy it, especially if it's from the 60s like this one. This is a Vogue pattern from, I'm guessing the 60s. This is very 60s-esque. It doesn't have the date on it. I couldn't find that, which usually I find a lot of vintage patterns do have the year it was made, but I guess Vogue didn't do that. So this is for this coat, which I think is so, so cute. And then a top that goes under it, you can see here, which shows you how to make this really really cool um like raised neckline i'm not sure what it's called but it's so like quintessential 60s fashion and i've always wanted to learn how to make this so i'm really interested to open this up and see what those pieces look like the next pattern i feel like i used to own this pattern and then i got rid of it and i don't know why i did because it's so cute oh it's is this gonna fit me oh Okay, this is not my size. This is a junior teen, size 11, 12. Don't even get me started on old pattern sizing. But anyways, it's this really, really cute like tennis dress. Hopefully I can kind of alter it to make it 
fit, but specifically what I wanted this for is this scalped edge here. I really want to see how that all goes together, what the pattern pieces look like, and be able to cut like perfect facings to achieve this look because I love a scalped edge. That's all of the spring things that I thrifted recently. I'm definitely going to be thrifting a whole bunch more. So if you want to see all those things as I buy them, I usually post that kind of stuff on TikTok. Did anyone care about this? Like, was this interesting? I really don't know. But if you want to stick around here for some more long form spring sewing content, I'll definitely be posting a bunch of full length tutorials. And like I said, reviewing pattern companies and stuff like that. I really want to start doing that. So if you have any pattern companies that you've been looking at that you want me to review, send me those because that would be really, really fun. If you want to see more videos like this from me, then make sure you're also subscribed down below and I will see you next time.